India. Which are the states with maximum supply of employable talent? If you take uh, top three states, and if you take into account right from 2014, then Punjab, Haryana, Haryana, and Delhi. The major shift in 2014 was north. Then it it has seen the central India and suddenly the south India, where Andhra has taken in 2016, and sometimes it was West Bengal also 2017. 2018 again andhra came back andhra is still there in 2020 andhra has is not there but maharashtra tamil nadu and uttar pradesh are clearly seen there in comparison to what men and women are in terms of job participation i think with men it is it was 71% right the employability was 30% which has uh, increased to 77% but the employability is 46% to men in comparison to women right from 2014 to 2020 that i am speaking about 29% of women participation was there now it has reduced to 23% and the employability overall percentage is 42% to 47% so there has been more of more women actually contributing to the employability but the retention is a question mark here let us also try and understand the key findings of the report let us take one important aspect now the industry 1.0 mechanization steam power and weaving loom to industry 2.0 the mass production assembly line electrical energy industry 3.0 has seen a lot of automation computers and electronics but industry 4.0 4.0 that we are talking about is 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 going to be more of cyber physical systems internet of things and networks which is today so there is a shift happening and it is very inevitable of the fact that the entire world is changing towards automation now the key takeaways of this particular report is from our assessment of the talent available the vbox national employability test employability test what it speaks is employability of india's youth has remained stagnant for the past 3 years lingering around 46% who are job ready the state of employability has not improved over the last few years implying the need for more robust action so there has to be more of employability getting employable is most important so that is what it is need of the r which the clear with the report clearly reflects mba holders have taken over the slot of the highest employable cohort among the various course graduates with an employability score of 54% so irrespective of the whatever background that you are coming from be it an engineer b farm b com ba or polytechnics i think the mba have a slightly better uh, stake in terms of employability and it has increased to 15% for last maybe uh, a couple of years candidates from maharashtra tamil nadu and uttar pradesh were more employable than any other states that means the amount of employability test which are which are uniformly you know conducted uh, from these three states uh, i think there it they these three states were able to attract more number of employment than compared to any other states so maybe mumbai hyderabad and pune playing a wider role interestingly while maharashtra and tamil nadu have jumped up the ladder by more than seven position the city of hyderabad is entirely a new addition to the listing when compared with the past few years data just because of the Tal- telangana happening there male and female participant as we can uh, we could you know gauge by the earlier slide that the marginal percentage of uh, men have has come down in terms of employability but the women participation has definitely increased the figures for candidates seeking internship opportunities with organizations remained alike as of the last year's record at 85% but i think tamil nadu uh, and hyderabad telangana has has attracted lot of students here the awareness of the government of Nash, india's national apprenticeship uh, scheme naps 2015 among students is not very encouraging only 60% of the students were aware of this particular scheme so i think with this report and uh, students who are 
aware of this would take a note of and maybe get aware of NAPS 2015 scheme as well bringing more light is the 56% of employers are likely to increase hiring this year however the harrowing portrait of low women participation in jobs persists with less than 25% women at work despite the employability of the women reaching at par with men in comparison with the previous year e-commerce and bfsi are the industry that are expected to ramp up their hiring according to this report and mbas bas and bcom courses employability over 45% individually for each course has been marked here candidates with 1 to 5 years of experience continue to remain in maximum demand over 40% while freshers make up for only 15% of the overall talent demand basis the educational qualification and demand engineers have been expected to be hired the most 30% closely followed by general graduate like ba bcom or bsc 26% which is 4% down which is in tandem with the hiring trend posted by bfsi e-commerce bpo kpo its the skills which employers seems to emphasize on while screening candidates are domain knowledge adaptability to the environment learning agility and positive attitude the four skills which every recruiter has an eye to and this should be noted by all the job seekers in terms of quality of the talent available 42% of employers say most job seekers satisfy their requirement but majority of them that is 53% say that some meet the ask the findings heighten the concern over gender parity as the intent for 2020 reflects a likely hiring ratio of 71 is to 29 for male to female candidates with the widest disproportions expected to be seen in the auto sector quite interestingly the survey indicated the rising role of gigs in the economy at 13% share in the overall hiring intent by employment type job portals professional network and social media and internal referrals stood out as the topmost channels used for finding the right talent so this has to be noted by the job seekers whereas tamil nadu karnataka and maharashtra are the state states preferred the most by employers for hiring talent also about 50% of the employers acknowledge the role of government initiated programs in recruit in recruitments of which almost 9 in 10 employers admit that candidates meet their requirements so this is good the country is eyeballing the opportunity to make it in a global top 5 list by 2020 that is what the proposal was and if we are closely monitoring this skill india report then it is definitely going to progress by next couple of years if we have taken this as a task i'm sure that the millennials that we talk about the country's big and small economic pattern and trends are all highly impacted by india's largest demographic cohort that that is millennials so if you take the age uh, bracket of 18 to 35 i think 47% of the total population of india will fall under this so india itself getting qualified as the youth capital the millennials contribute nearly one half one half 47% of the country's working population and will likely to continue to remain the largest chunk of the indian workforce now this is something which is very very important demographically to understand what the millennials are and what their contribution would significantly uh, make india to propel with at this point in time now india's formally trained workforce which stands at merely 2.3% in comparison to economies like south korea which are the mammoth like 96% so they, you know nearest if you are comparing to south korea then we are way way lagging behind and if that is to be bridged we need to understand where where we are going what we are doing skill india report is generated to to know exactly what is happening here in india with the employment employability employment employment market as well as who's responding to all of these are its millennial the youth brigand falling under the age bracket of 18 to 35 so a lot of 
uh, you know question being raised and it clearly indicates that we need to revive india's uh, india as a workplace